Welcome back. It's time for us to turn our attention to Kenya. We all know of Kenya's Vision 2030, which is really about making Kenya a middle-income economy in the next uh, few years by the year 2030. Let's find out what's being done in terms of getting progress forward. We're joined by Mugo Kibati, CEO of Kenya's Vision 2030. Thanks so much, Mr. Kibati, for your time. We've had this conversation before. Now I want to know tangibly what's being done. Um, good evening. Um, well, lots been done. As uh, we discussed last time, Vision 2030 has a number of components. It's a very comprehensive program with an economic, political, social pillar and the infrastructure programs. And I think what is most obvious to everybody is the political pillar. Uh, we're just uh, one day, two days away from celebrating our one year anniversary since we promulgated the new constitution. And since that constitution was um, passed on August 27th of last year, We've seen a lot of reforms in the judiciary and the police force, <coughs> excuse me, and electoral processes. We today are speaking about a completely new Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice, right. Supreme Court in the works. So the political pillar, I think, is moving very well. Infrastructure, we've seen a lot in terms of roads and highways across the entire country, um, electrification of rural areas in this country, fiber optics across the entire country. Mm -hmm. And now as we move into the future, we're looking at one of the largest projects, I think, in the continent, which is the Lamu Transport and Economic Corridor, which uh, has seven components, a port, a railway line, which is about 2,000 kilometers connecting us, Kenya, East Africa, to Ethiopia and South mm -hmm. Sudan, a highway doing the same thing, three resort cities, three airports, a pipeline between uh, Juba and Lamu Port, so that is what we want to move into in the next few years, and we're determined to break ground on Lamu Port in the next six or so months. All right, so infrastructure, a huge component, and a lot of work being done on the rail and the road side. Which other areas are going to be a central focus of the economic pillar of this Vision 2030? We know that Kenya is a major tourism economy. What are you doing to boost tourism growth, tourism jobs, and the profile of Kenya? Well, as we speak, we just released our half-year results today on tourism, and we've done much better than last year. We've grown about 20% uh, from last year. But really, we have significant programs in the tourism sector. Uh, we want, first of all, to ensure that what we consider to be our premium parks, the famous Masai Mara, the Amboseli, Lake Nakuru, uh, are all treated as premium parks, uh, meaning that uh, more spend for tourists to those parks. Mm. We've also uh, tried to open up more of the unknown parks in this country. There's, there are various parks across the entire country that are not normally visited. We've done a lot of branding and refurbishing of these parks across the entire country. But also we're talking about a new convention center. We want to put up a brand new convention center at the coast in Mombasa. We've secured the land. We're just about to, complete, uh, to start uh, the final design program for that. As Jeff told you about the Lamu Corridor. The Lamu Corridor includes three resort cities. Uh, brand new resort cities, one at the coast, Lamu itself, one in central Kenya, Isiolo is right at the center of the country, and one on Lake Turkana. Right. And we now have preliminary designs for all those three resort cities. As we speak next week, we shall be going to Isiolo to start to look at securing uh, land to begin uh, on right. the Isiolo Resort City. So across the board, tourism is a major focus for Vision 2030. All right, thanks so much for your time. Unfortunately, we have to leave it there. Mugo Kibati, who's Director General of Vision 2030, joining us there from our studios in Nairobi.